when we are working in power bi most of the times what happens is that we have to use multiple data sources in order to load the data so for example if i am loading the data from sql server then at some point of time i have to load the data using csv using json or using any cloud database or using excel it might be from any other platforms so now the point is that let me frame you one question in another way if i am using this particular sql server as my data source in order to load the data into my power bi desktop so later on my uh, team members or some other people in my team they have shared their report but as soon as they have shared their report when i would like to open it in power bi it is telling that the data source settings is not similar or there is some error in it so what exactly happens here the problem is that the data source settings is not similar okay so when we would like to go and share that particular data the data should not change i got my point the data should not change but the the source through which the credentials have come that can be changed so how can we do that in power bi hi i am m asif hussain from nohab academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn how to connect our sql server database into our power bi desktop we are even going to learn how we have to change the data source settings using parameters in power bi so by the end of this video you could get a very excellent idea on how we have to use the parameters how we have to create it and how to change the data source settings so watch till end my dear viewers here i have my particular data set okay so this is the orders query that i have it so how did i get that i will go here i'll click on import data from sql server and here i'll paste the server name that i have it and we can choose the database name so my database name that we have it in sql server is superstore okay so this i would like to cop, uh, copy this one and uh, i have to paste it here so superstore is my database name so as soon as i click on okay it will ask me what particular uh, table that we would like to consider this table i would like to consider and if i click on transform data then what happens is that we will land up into this particular page so this is how we have to connect our sql server to our power bi desktop or we can get the data from sql server into power bi desktop so now let's consider that i'll go here to advanced editor so advanced editor under advanced editor whatever we have under let that is very important okay so let's understand it first so what's happening here is that the source that i have considered i mean the data source that i have considered it is from sql sql dot please observe this one sql dot database so what is this sql which in the sense the server name okay so whatever you are seeing this particular name this is my server name this is my server name and comma after this comma the database name which is superstore that is mentioned here the database name superstore that is mentioned here and if you see that the schema that we are considering is dbo which is nothing but database object and under this database object the item that is nothing but the orders table the table that is orders table like this if you have multiple tables we can just go and add on it here and all these things we call it as an m language okay where we can use it bash up language all right so this is nothing but let now the point is that if i would like to change the data source okay so it is no uh, required for you every time to go and fetch the data again go to advanced editor change every time in advanced editor so for this very simply what we will do is that we will create the parameters all right so why these parameters will be used parameters are used in order to make sure that our data is safe and secure without losing any data from our data set just the credentials will be changed from one platform to another platform or one credentials to another credentials so for this what we have to do is that under manage parameters we have to click on new parameter okay so i'll click on this new parameter as soon as i click on new parameter is it is asking me the parameter name okay let me take sql name sql name okay so the type let us keep text type 
and the current value what is the value that we have to give it here so the value that we have to give it here is my server name okay the server name that i have to consider i'll click on okay okay so as you can see that one parameter is created now in the same way i'll go and create another parameter for my orders query okay for my orders table if you would like to consider so let us consider uh, database object dot order so now that is my uh, another parameter name that you can give any name it is up to you so i'll come to type and i will uh, query name cannot contain periods or quotation marks okay so you should not consider dot here okay so let us consider dbo orders okay dbo orders something let us consider like this now the text it will consider a type text now the current value the value is nothing but the superstore database that we have considered mm -hmm. so that i'll click on okay so now what's happening we have created uh, two parameters one parameter with our sql name which is our server name is included in that and another one is a database object where our database name is included in that right so now what i am doing here i have created the parameters okay that's fine mm -hmm. now when we want to go and for example mm -hmm. i have only one query here for instance you have some uh you know 70 queries or 70 tables or 100 tables or where you have to you know do data modeling data transformation then obviously that is a mess up where you cannot go and every query click on every query go to advanced editor and go and change your particular parameter name here again click on done again you open another query again you go to advanced editor here again you have to change the parameter name no that is very risky so because it takes time and there are many chances that uh, somewhere or the other if we mismatch in creating the m language and all so some small errors or mistakes might come again it will take time to rectify so in order to avoid this problem what we are doing is that we are using something called as data source settings so under this data source settings we have this one right so i'll go to change source i'll go to change source in the change source as you can see here we have some option called as parameter okay so the parameter let me consider the first parameter where my server name is included and i will choose the another parameter where my database ob object you know, the database object or database name is included so i have selected these two whenever you we are connecting some data from sql server we have only two options either we have to give our server name or we have to give our database object name so that we have to consider it now let me click on okay and i'll click on close finally let me click on close and apply so as soon as i click on close and apply all those parameters will be applicable to my particular table all right so we can see that we have got this query now if i go to transform data and if i would like to edit the parameter or if i would like to edit some other server name for example uh, team b from my particular organization is sharing this their credentials so i can just go and change my database name here so if my team B is sharing some other credentials with me, I can just randomly go and change the server name here or I can change the database name here and can get the table. But when I am changing these credentials, my existing data that I have it, that will not change. Okay, That is one of the biggest advantages with the help of parameters that we can have it. All right? So my dear viewers, in this video, we have learned how to connect our SQL Server database to our Power BI desktop. We have seen how to create the parameters in Power BI. Thank you for choosing KnowHub Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.